In this video, we're going to take a look at customizing the sidebar gadget of a Google site. I've already gone into Manage Site, and I'm on Themes, Colors, and Fonts, and I've selected Sidebar Gadget. On the Sidebar Gadget, we can customize the background, the title, the title background, text, selected text, and the divider line. Remember, the Sidebar Gadget is this area of your website right here. It's how your users are going to be able to navigate through your site. So let's take a look at the options. The first one is background. We can add a background color to just the sidebar. So if we click the paint bucket and select a color, you can see that that's going to fill in the entire sidebar with whichever color you pick. Now again, your sidebar is really important because it's the way people are going to navigate through your site. They're going to get to where they need to go. If they can't read it, then they're not going to be able to get there. So choosing a, a color is um, important. If you want to have an accent color, maybe tie that in with an image that you, the image that you have in your background, or if you have another image on your page, pick a color out of that. In this case, we already have this color selected for our header. Well, we could use that same color in our sidebar gadget and then it would kind of coordinate together. So that color is not too bad um, with the text that we have there. You can also use an image but remember when you add an image as a background it makes the text that you put on top of that hard to read. So if we put that same bug background in there you'll see that it can make that pretty hard to, that area pretty hard to read if we add that image back there. So we're going to remove the image and we're also going to take the color away for right now. The next area of the sidebar that you can customize is the title. And the titles are for your navigation sections. If you have different sections of navigation and you have titles in there, that's what you'll be customizing here. So for title, we can change the font. And again, we might look at a decorative font here. Um, choose one that's a little more different. Because you're working with you know, shorter words, one, two words, maybe a decorative font wouldn't be bad in this instance. Uh, you can also change the color of the font in the sidebar. Let's make that a red so it stands out a little more. So you can change the color of that. And this, again, would be a good place for an accent color. Um, to, to use an accent color, you can also change the size of the uh, title in the sidebar if you need to. The next area that you can customize is the title background. And again, this will be this area of the uh, background in the title right here. So if we choose color, um, if we look at that same color that we've been using, that we used in our header there, we might go ahead and do that. Um, and I might actually come back to the title and pick a different color. So it kind of coordinates more with our theme. There we go. That looks a little better. In title background, again, you can add an image back there, but as we've seen, that's really going to decrease the readability of that text. Text. The text in your sidebar is for um, if you have just words in here. Now, all of the text that we have in this sidebar, aside from the titles that we've already customized, are actually links. So um, when you customize the text, uh, that the link is what you'll be uh, making the change for. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the font. And if we choose a different font, so we can see how that looks, you can see that changes the whole font there on uh, the list. So again, this is really important. Um, you want your people, you want users to be able to see where they're going, so you need to pick a font that's readable. The color, again, you can change that. And this didn't change anything because this is text color. Um, these are actually links, which we're going to get to on the next one, uh, down here a little bit farther. You can also change the size. Now here's the link color. So if we change that, now you'll see that all of those change because each of those are links to a different page in your website. I would go ahead and probably stick with the default with the theme or black in order to make those really stand out. And then visited link color, a visited link is a link that you click on and then when you come back it's in, shown in a different color. Um, and I generally don't change that in the sidebar. I leave the, the sidebar um, as is. Selected text uh, the page that you are on will be selected in the sidebar. So here's the welcome page. It's selected over here so that we know where we are at in our side in our site on the sidebar. So the selected text, you can change the text color and you can change the background color. So again, if we wanted to do something that matched our theme, we might choose that same color and then that makes that text a little hard to read. So we could also then change that to a different color to make it easier to read. So the selected text is the page 
page uh, highlights the page that you're on. Now the line divider um, is the dividing sections between the uh, navigation panes here and it this works better in some themes. You may pick a theme where in this one in particular where you make a change and you don't see anything appear and that has to do with the theme that's the overall theme that's selected so the line divider works better in some themes than others. Um, it doesn't work so well in this particular theme but you can go ahead and try and change that as well. So again your sidebar is how you're going to navigate through the site so it's pretty important you want to make sure that the text is readable uh, that you can easily read it and navigate from page to page. You can change the background, the title, the title background, text, selected text, and the line divider in the sidebar.